So I guess the question is, that we're going to try and answer, is how fast do you need to throw it? Okay, how fast? Okay, so if you, you, you want to throw the ball fast enough so that it orbits the Earth, okay? And we can use the math that we've done so far to figure out how fast that needs to be, okay? So you have this idea of throwing the ball. You throw it hard enough and it'll miss. So there's, let's draw the ball again. Here's the Earth. Here's the ball. Now it's in orbit. Has a velocity v, a mass m, okay? Which means that it has a weight of mg. So the only force acting on this, so this is a ball in orbit, the only force acting on it is the force of gravity, okay? So let's write F equals ma. If, the, if, we, if we're going to call this distance to the Earth, we're going to call that Re. Uh, I mean, here's the Earth. Here's the distance. We're going to call that Re. So Re is the radius of the Earth. All right, so here's the Earth, the ball with a velocity v in orbit. So what is, what's the acceleration? What's the value of a for this thing in orbit, roughly? What is, that? What is the acceleration for something in orbit? Yes, and what's, but how big is it? m squared over r is the right answer, but how big is the v squared over r, roughly? It's just about the same as g, because that's the acceleration. That's how the acceleration is basically how fast it falls to Earth. It's falling to Earth with that acceleration. So the acceleration is approximately, we can say, g. OK? Or we can say minus g if you want. But normally, for circular motion, we always have to the center of the circles being positive. So it's about. It's about 10 meters per second, let's say, squared. So F is equal to mg, which is equal to the weight. But because it's moving in a circle, what's the acceleration? You, you, you just said it, right? v squared over r. So because it's moving in a circle, we can say that a is equal to v squared divided by re, OK? The radius, so, I mean, it's close to being the radius of the Earth, because it's only 100 miles above. So, what I'm trying to say is the distance from the ball to the center of the Earth is almost the same as the radius of the Earth. So we can just put that in. So A is V squared over R, but this is also equal to G. Because that's how much it's accelerating. That's, its acceleration is 10 meters per second squared. That's the numerical value. But the type of acceleration is a center, you could call it maybe a centrifugal type of, of force. It's going in a circle. So then you, you have a simple uh, way of figuring out v. So you can say v squared equals re multiplied by g, which gives you v equals square root of re times by g. Okay. And if you put in some values, so the radius of the Earth is about I think we said it was 6,000 uh, kilometers. Uh, G is about 10 meters per second squared, the size of G. So if you put those numbers into here and here, 
you end up with v equals square root of REG, which is about 8 kilometers per second, or 18,000 miles per hour. So if, you, if, if I could throw this ball, the reason you have to be high up is because you don't want any air resistance to slow it down. But if I can throw this ball at 18,000 miles per hour, then it will orbit the Earth. And it won't come down again. It'll just keep on going. The reason it needs to be 18,000 miles per hour is because it needs enough V to produce that amount of G with that radius. So you need to have enough, basically, uh, velocity such that the acceleration is about is, is going to cancel out the weight. Okay. 